Detroit's air quality has been a major concern for citizens for decades now. Anyone who has asthma and lives in Detroit knows how challenging this can be. In fact, the city was just named the third worst place to live in the U.S. if you have asthma. That's according to the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. And September is the peak month for asthma attacks in America. So we sent 7 News Detroit reporter Sarah Michaels to talk with Detroit families affected by asthma and a specialist about why asthma is such a prevalent problem in our city. This is give it five uh, milligrams once a day. Detroiter Myra Hernandez describes asthma as a roller coaster. She's showing me just some of the tools that she uses to help keep it at bay. I'm a mom of three, so all three of them have asthma, but the hardest one's been Gail. Myra's five-year-old Gail has had to go back and forth to the Children's Hospital of Michigan for treatment, upset that he couldn't keep up with the other kids when they played. He's a really active kid. But when it comes to his asthma, he just have to settle down because he will start just choking and coughing. Unfortunately, Gail's story is a common one in Detroit. This list from the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America lists Detroit as the third most challenging place to live with asthma in the United States. That's up two spots from last year when it was listed as the fifth. Asthma is greatly influenced by where a person lives, and here in Detroit, several factors put residents at risk. Global warming, car pollution, and refineries. We're the Motor City, and so we have most of our schools are next to highways, at least in Detroit. We have the refineries, the uh, Marathon Petroleum Refinery, the U.S. Steel, they're still there. Allergist Dr. Garen Wolf says the month of September is typically the peak for asthma-related attacks as the weather changes. She says in recent years, there has been an inhaler shortage, and to reduce the risk of attacks, we need better insurance coverage for inhalers. Plus, and this one is imperative, people at risk need to make an asthma action plan. The asthma action plan shows adults and children how to manage their asthma when it's stable and how to manage it when um, it is not stable. Myra made plans for each of her children and got the recommended surgeries for Gail. It's a huge relief for me to have them under control. He is now thriving like many others with asthma do. USA sprinter Noah Lyles crowned the fastest man alive has asthma. As Dr. Wolf says, asthma is a problem, but not one that is unsolvable. We are working as best as we can to reduce the amount of adults and kids going to the ER. Um, it just takes a, a big community effort. Reporting in downtown Detroit, Sarah Michaels, 7 News Detroit. Asthma is such a serious thing, you cannot play with it. I mean, it can kill you. Well, one of my kids had exercise-induced asthma. Big deal. Big deal. And we will always tell you when there's an air quality issue because uh, that can really impact uh, people with asthma, bronchitis, that kind of thing, too. And we're past most of that for the summer, but those hot, hot days can be an issue. So Thanks. we'll help you keep track of that. Yes.